in. All I was doing is is doing my normal duties back there in the in the room, moving pallets, moving all kind of shit, you know. <clears throat> and like in, in the production room. And then you know, she said something to me in which a man it's you know, she did what the stereotypical man does to a woman in such, but but the gender, you know, but the the situation regarding gender was reversed. You know, it didn't make the fucking 11 o'clock news. It didn't make the 6 o'clock news, you know? Fuck. I mean, you, you know, it didn't even make headlines. Like, nobody outside the building even found out about it, really, except for, well, one other person that spread rumors and all that. You know, the gossip queen. But, <clears throat> I mean, like, you know, it was, was just... I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, th this shit happens to me. I see it fucking everywhere. And, but, no, no, it's just on TV, it's like, oh, women are oppressed, women, oh, women are the victims, women are victims, men are the assailants, men are so evil, all the trespasses of men, and the violence of men, and the, the harm caused by men, and well, men are the problem, and, and well, well, you know, men need to understand that they've been a problem in history, and, well, you know, once again, we're going back to the problems caused by men, and, and well, men are the problem, and well, men cheat, and because well, men cheat, and well, men cheat, and well, men are rapists. Well, you know, men need to come to grips with their role as the raper in society. Uh, you know, men are the problem. You know, if men wouldn't be so fucking violent and hostile, then, then maybe society wouldn't be so fucked up like it is. Men, men are the problems of, men are the source of all the problems in society. Well, men want war, and well, men are the reason why we have war, and man, 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 and, and the, the, this dead horse that the these women and feminists beat it must be made out of like antum adamantium or something like that it must be fucking indestructible because they keep fucking kicking it and beating it and all this other shit but for some reason it doesn't fucking liquefy and evaporate you know what i'm saying <clears throat> so anyway check out this shit <laughs> I wish I could say that. I wish I had that sword to vanquish the fucking demon with. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh that's right. I won't get it because I'm a man, you know? Well, well, men can't be victims because they're the assailants. Didn't you know that, you retard? That's how you're treated in society as a man, you know? It's a fucking shit. And the guy, he was just laughing and giggling and all this other shit, you know? It might have been an off-color or bad joke or something that just didn't even make sense. And, and the woman's like, well, I feel offended. It's bad. He's like, it's just a joke. Well, no, it's not. It's harm. And I was victimized. <laughs> All this pathetic shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> oh, that looks like the same woman. Oh, and look at how he's got to feel bad about himself now. You know, like, this shit happens all the time, and, and men, they, they, I mean, like, there's a reason why men dominate the suicide s statistics, you know, with about three-quarter percent, like, three-quarter percent, well, not three-quarter percent, three-quarter, which is about 75 percent of all suicides are by the male gender. Oh, but guess why? Oh, guess why we have to have no-fault divorce, because, well, Women in the 60s and before, they felt trapped by their marriage and they didn't feel like there was a way out, so they just committed suicide. And we gotta protect the cradle of life because we don't want society's existence to be threatened. We need to have no fault divorce. That's the only way. That's the only way we'll save our families and our women. And then you see when no-fault divorce becomes a reality, in droves, in droves, women just flock to it. It's like, girl power, women, let's, let's leave them, them idiot deadbeat men. Let's, let's advance on to what we want. Oh, let's get us some young guy. Oh, he's a young stud. Oh, I bet his penis is really large. Oh, I bet that would feel really great. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's so, he's so sweet and he's so handsome. Man. I mean, all this shit. Oh, my gosh, women are such violators. And, and see, it's only when you take the, the expectations that women impo impose upon men and then impose that back upon them and see how they're unwilling to obey it 
then you begin to see the fucking betrayal, the fucking crime against humanity. Then you begin to see the real problem, which is female nature. Now check this shit out. The punishment for spanking another kid in school used to be detention, but a middle school in Oregon has taken it to a new level by calling in the cops and arresting kids for an infraction that used to be handled by the school. John Stossel has more. <coughs> Did you hear about the young sexual harassers? These two boys were charged with five counts of felony sex abuse in the first degree because of what they did at this Oregon middle school. Officer Marshall Roach testified about what the boys did to some 13-year-old girls. I remember her telling us that um, her buttocks was spanked. And in Waco, Texas, school officials say Chris Blackwell engaged in inappropriate sexual contact and or sexual harassment. His father was upset to learn that his son had... They wrote up a sexual harassment. The school put it in writing. Chris rolled his face in the chest of a female employee. The odd thing is, Chris is only five years old. He was four at the time of the alleged sexual harassment. What he did that got him into trouble, says his father, was what he's demonstrating on his mom here. He gave his teacher a hug. Only after Chris's father complained did the school agree to change Chris's record from sexual harassment to inappropriate conduct. At least Chris wasn't sent to jail. As were Corey Mashburn and Ryan Cornelis. Corey's mom got the terrible phone call. He had been touching some girls, and we needed to get down to the juvenile detention. They were arresting him. She and her husband rushed to this jail. They said, well, we can tell you Corey is here, but you cannot see him or talk to him. I was so scared. I was thrown out the first and second night. Why were the boys in jail? It was butt-slapping day. <laughs> and what's that? teacher told us to stop and we stopped and she took us to the office. Why were you slapping girls? It was just a game we did. Um, you'd slap somebody, they'd slap another person, if you got slapped and you slap somebody else. Today, the girls who were the so-called victims of the felony sex abuse don't consider themselves victims. These two demonstrated what the boys and the girls did. At school, they say this was a regular event. Every Friday, we would have slap butt day and pretty much... You just go around slapping people's butt. Now, see, here's what goes on. You see, <clears throat> the activity amongst these boys and girls was equal. They were, the boys and the girls are both slapping each other's butts. So the situation was all equal. Well, here comes feminist fucking laws and fucking cultural bias uh, to unequal it. And to put it back in women's favor where they think it belongs. So what they do is they, they, they first of all, portrayed it as only the, the boys slapping the girls' butts and then acted like the females were victims and that the females were subjected to some kind of horrible treatment and all this other kind of shit. <clears throat> the girls don't regard themselves as victims in this instance because, or in this instance because they knew they weren't victims. It was an equal consensual exchange. <clears throat> but society didn't regard it that way and policies of society. I mean, look at it. I mean, like... I mean, like, look at it. I mean, like... Hell, let me go back to that. The girls did. At school, they say this was a regular event. Okay, okay. So, so the boys and girls are both slapping each other's butts, but only the boys, only the male gender had consequences for it. You see what I'm saying? This is the problem right here. I mean, <clears throat> and just, you know, this, this video has already been two hours long. Uh, you know, I got I to gotta end this one here. Um, um, I, I got to end that little thing there. Um, I just got two extra subscribers today. I don't know who they are yet. Uh, <clears throat> now let's go back to Anita Sarkeesian. All of my social media sites were flooded with threats of rape, violence, sexual assault, death, 
And you'll notice that these um, threats and, and comments were all specifically targeting my gender. The Wikipedia article about me was vandalized with sexism, racism, and pornographic images. There was a campaign... Well, then how is that any different than what happens to men? You know... I'm, I'm going to snatch that fucking victim... I'm going to snatch that fucking victim card right out of your fucking hand. You know? I'm tired of this shit. Men and women are both victims. But, it, but society seems to be manipulated into only thinking that women can be victims shows what women are doing they, they want preferential treatment they don't want equality why well, you know what i'm saying they don't want consequence for their action no they don't want to suffer anything undesirable and it shows their own mentality it shows what's really within them women are the all-consuming self deep down to report all of my social media accounts including my my kickstarter my youtube my twitter um, and they would report them as fraud, as spam, even as terrorism, uh, in an effort to get... The Wikipedia article about me was vandalized with sexism, racism, and pornographic images. There was a campaign to report all of my social media accounts, including my, my Kickstarter, my YouTube, my Twitter, um, and they would report them as fraud, as spam, even as terrorism. Uh, and because they are. <clears throat> I mean, look at this. I mean, all this shit she does. I mean, it, it, what she, Well, look, I mean, she ran off with $160,000 that she was supposed to raise to produce this video series that she didn't produce afterward. You know, there's a video on that. Um, fuck, I'll just... I'm trying to type with one hand. Mm. Ha! Oh, this is great. <clears throat> Hey everyone, Monday and Matt here. So, here we go. It's the I, I've done a couple videos about this already, about the whole uh, Anita Sarkeesian, Femme Freak, her feminist video vlogs about tropes versus women in video games as represented by the image here on this video. So, if you look at this whole thing and you, you, you look at how she did it, you can see how this, this worked out 100% in her favor. She was able to totally use the misogynist and male-dominated gaming market on the internet to her favor and I'll tell you guys why do you think that she is not already used to a severe amount of criticism from male gamers I mean you look at her she's snarky right she's got those eyes that make you just want to punch her in the face and she's got <laughs> that look and that voice and everything about her pretty much makes you go Ooh, you bitch right or cunt or whatever they call her but anyway and the point is, she knew exactly what she was doing. <clears throat> she created a video campaign based on her already pop her, well, her... Of course. You know, she's got estrogen in her, in her system. I mean, she is the predator beneath the doll face. I mean, of course she knows how to exploit people. Kind of internet celebrity status based on doing these feminist videos where she's attacking Hunger Games and other projects. That, like Legos and Christmas? Come on, really? Uh, Legos? All right, they're fucking anatomical creatures they they have like one little thing it's no big deal anyway she used whatever popularity she had and she knew how to get underneath male gamer skins because let's face it guys you're fucking easy to piss off okay you're not hard to get upset i could go into like you know <clears throat> reddit gaming or slash v and post some stupid shit like Fucking, I can say, Kirby is the worst goddamn video game character of all time, and I'll have 150 responses telling me that I'm a cock-sucking, anal-raping faggot. Right? <laughs> that's true. I'll have that. You know I'll have that, because that how, that's how it goes. Arnita Sarkeesian did the exact same thing. She was able to take a topic that she knew would get you angry, she knew would get you talking about it, and she put it to the ultimate test. So she used her popularity and her pro-feminism views 
to get you angry and what happened when she got you angry you did exactly what she wanted you to do you struck at you lash out at her you lash out at her videos you wish that it lasts out of her page you tried getting her and you know like taken down for terrorism which i thought was quite clever and funny but you did all these things that did not well, well she is i mean she is a terrorist because <clears throat> you know if men did the same thing they would be regarded as terrorists. I mean, come on. I mean, she already alleges that men are terrorists anyway. She just doesn't use the word terrorism. You know, I mean, she's, she's fucking sneaky. She is a fucking predator. And she, she dolls herself up and tries to look all innocent. And she fucking the most manipulative fucking bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like... But the dude is right. He makes a good point. Nothing but give her more power, right? Yeah. You fed into the beast, the evil glassed she-beast that is Anita Sarkeesian. Yeah. You fed into her entire <clears throat> idea of what she wanted, of how she wanted to make this money. She was looking for $6,000. You realize you gave her like two hundred and or 2,500 percent more than what she wanted, right? Because you got angry, you got all the other journalists out there that are that are afraid of actually speaking their goddamn mind. Most of these are male journalists that want to appeal to whatever kind of female demographic they have. Uh, and so they like to post these videos or post these articles in support of her, thinking that it's a good idea. Well, if you look at like the, the extra credits, uh, not extra credits, but the Escapist magazine with Movie Bob, uh, his video that just went up today talking about how he supports what she's doing, but he can find a lot of things to argue. So that, that, and that sums up every other gaming journalist that covered this thing, or every other male journalist that covered this, is they're like, well, I don't really agree with what she's saying. I mean, like, you know, I don't really agree with it, but I have to say I agree with it, because if I don't, I'm going to risk pissing off the female gamers out there, or the more pro-effeminate gamers out there that are going to want to push these ideas and, and, and either way you're going to get yourself into a lot of shit if you come out and you say what you really think because that's the media world we live in. You can bash on something that's a thing. See this guy, Mundane Matt, this YouTube user, he just touched on something uh, about the effeminate. The, 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 basically the demascul demasculinized man. And look at it. The, these effeminate men or, you know, the, the gay community, they, you know, as much sympathy as I have for them because they've been basically psychologically battered by women. <clears throat> I mean, that's what Esther Viller would say about it. Uh, they, they have been. And they've been unable to win female approval because they might not be physically attractive to women and then so they become even more desperate for that self-esteem boost, that validation and all that. So they, they just basically, in a way, almost cry out as an act of desperation for female attention. And they do it by basically brown-nosing and kissing ass to females and all this shit. And, and basically de demasculizing themselves even further because, we're, because basically masculinity has been criminalized. You know, and women secretly like masculinity. They're just jealous of it because they don't have the power that masculinity provides because, once again, women chose the easy road and chose not to fucking evolve to become superior. You know, I mean, it's, it's women, women, it's your own fucking fault. I mean, God fucking damn, own up your own fucking shit. But you won't, you won't, you won't. No, responsibility is too much of a burden for you to bear. Oh, just because you're a victim and you're so... Because you are pathetic, aren't you? At the end of the day, you are pathetic. Why don't you fucking woman up if you're so goddamn fucking superior, some kind of fucking inner goddess? But you won't. You won't. You'll just degrade everything down to your level. Because you are the weakest link in the human family. You need to fucking face that fact. You need to face the fact and own up to it. After all, every time a man commits a crime or does some kind of trespass against society, isn't he fucking shamed and doesn't, doesn't, I mean, come on. He has his face rubbed in the fucking dog pile, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. You know, he, he's made well aware of whatever, you know, infraction or offense or whatever he's done, just in the general consistence, consistence, uh, consensus of society, Consensus, okay. I mean, really, just in general, men are shamed for whatever they do that bothers somebody else. 
Tell you what, man, women are going to have fucking hell to pay when this is all over with. And I'm just advocating for men to live their lives without involvement of women. You know, and then rape will just disappear. You know, no men will be raping women if all men learn that women are not, you know, worth the effort. If men understand that the juice is not worth the squeeze, as uh, Stardust had put it, <clears throat> or described it. When men wake up to that fact, when intimacy is destroyed so much by feminist aggression in the legal system and that sort of thing, when all these things really take their toll, when, when, when more men receive criminal records because of sexual, usually false sexual harassment or false rape allegations by women, then, then they'll wake up, you know, and, you know, like when the fempocalypse happens, you know, when enough men have prison records and they're unable to become employable and, you know, men usually represent the producer. Look at how their physical appearance and how much more physically capable they are to interface with the physical world because they've been doing that for thousands of years or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They've evolved to to thrive in that kind of role in order to survive. <clears throat> and so the male represents the producer, and when he's unable to produce economically in society and pay the taxes for the government that women are so much of a parasite upon, and then when, you know, there's the financial collapse and all that shit, caused basically because of women, you know, and then, well, finally, maybe, you know, Women will basically kick the chair out from underneath themselves and, you know, will basically hang themselves with the rope that they've prepared for themselves inadvertently. I mean, you know, oh, but, but, oh, the, but their inner goddess wasn't smart enough to realize that. Fucking bitches, you know. It just shows women's mentality and women's nature that they, that they, <clears throat> they almost, on the whole, display, like, this incapability to, like, contemplate causality and consequences. Why? Well, let's see, because they've evolved, because they're pussy pass, and, you know, that, that like, that, and especially because men were so willing to do things to benefit women, because once again, like, uh, like, um, <clears throat> like Esther Viller described it in her book, men were basically naive enough to, to, um, to mistakenly place their trust in women, thinking that women were on their own, meaning their own, the men, thinking that, they, you know, thinking that women were on their fellow level, you know, and and thinking of, you know, mistakenly uh, uh, thinking of women as being an equal. <clears throat> uh, and see, oh my gosh, you gotta read Esther Viller's book. I mean, she's so brilliant. And that's, that's the fucked hard neighbor fucking revving the engine and squalling tires and all that in the parking lot. Um. You can, men can bash on men. Men can't bash on women. Women can bash on women and can bash on men, and it goes both ways, right? Because that's society we live in now, and that's everything. But Anita, Anita Sarkeesian knew exactly what she was doing when she got you angry, and you fell right into her fucking trap. Right. And you know what to prove it? I did a video about this too, posted on my Tumblr blog, and it got picked up by some guy, some pro feminist douchebag, and he <laughs> started posting it and my entire inbox blew up with angry fucking letters from people calling me all sorts of names. You can find it on my blog, I have a lot of things still up there. Right? The point is if you went out, spoke out against this, and if you actually you know, got mad at her for trying to basically incite more segregation amongst gamers, because when did becoming when did being a gamer turn into an identity versus just being a gamer. Yes, some developers may make girls with large breasts and tight asses who wield guns and swords and kill the fuck out of shit. Well, guess what? It's just a skin. It's not exactly representing a certain demographic or player type. Okay, women, I, I know tons of female gamers and none of them obsess over like, what the fuck, you know, Princess uh, Peach is wearing, or what Zelda is wearing, or what Samus has on underneath her fucking armor. They're more concerned with kicking ass in games and having fun, because that's ultimately what we all are, are fucking gamers. We don't need to be, what's the word, described or lumped into a category like this shit, like Anita Sarkeesian wants us to do. She's propagating the pro-feminist agenda in order to further divide the, divide our our society, our gaming culture, because that's what she wants. She wants that kind of controversy because that kind of controversy put $150,000 fucking dollars in her fucking pocket. 
Seriously, you're not <laughs> fucking ashamed of yourself for being so goddamn upset over this. Or I agree. Just attacking her the way you did. I Think, agree. You fucking morons. Think because you fell right into her fucking trap. You did exactly what she wanted, and she made out like a goddamn bandit. And as a result, she's now $150 fucking thousand dollars richer, and she's still only going to produce 10 stupid-ass goddamn videos that only maybe 20,000 people are going to watch on the fucking internet. You know what, though? Because of this, probably going to be a lot more people, and if she monetizes those goddamn things because she's a YouTube partner, she's going to make even more fucking money. So you know what? Thank you very much, B, and thank you very well. No, thank you very much, B, because I know Reddit Gaming didn't do with it because Reddit, if they get involved in anything like that, they're just going to basically wipe over and wash their, wash their vagina because they don't want to get any kind of controversy but at least v set up to this shit anyway that's my point you fell under her fucking trap she tricked you all for hundred and fifty thousand dollars and you all are fucking stupid for falling falling in with it anyway what are your thoughts i want to know post comments on this video post comments on my blog post comments on my twitter find all the links in the goddamn description all right fuck you all i'm out <laughs> he made some good points i agree with Oh, let's see. Ah, here it is. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I think this is the video I want to show you. Congratulations. You're probably going to make over $150,000 by the end of this project, which is money that could have gone to Africa, or maybe even Haiti, or India, in fact. But no, it went to some angry feminist bitch who whines about every little thing in the world. This is why we're expecting you to donate large portions of the money raised to charity. Take this as an opportunity to redeem yourself. Prove that you're not what everyone claims you are. Though I'm becoming even more angry with your little fans than you yourself. They've actually started making webcomics, with none other than their hero feminist leader as the focus of them. The comics reach whole new levels of retardation by <laughs> portraying anyone who disagrees with her as a troll or just a general hater. One of them even goes to the extent to say that she won some kind of war against the trolls, even though she... Alright, here it is. Uh, where Anita Sarkeesian and other feminists, they use the word hater or misogynist. They, they use the word misogynist, that's what they say, but what they actually mean is terrorist. <clears throat> Um, because, you know, after all, with Section 802, I think it was of the of the first Patriot Act, terrorism is redefined as anything that endangers human life and, uh, and violates a law. Well, women, or, you know, women, through feminism, because feminists are women, they, they try to change the laws all the time and revise the laws and get them in their favor and make more types of male behavior fit into the illegal category and all that. Uh, setting a trap for men, and then they they also uh, claim that everything hurts women, um, and endangers women's lives. You know, I mean, just all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, basically, you know, women are you know, feminists are trying to say that men are terrorists. The extent to say that she won some kind of war against the trolls, even though she bitched about them on her own website. Though this has not stopped us from exposing the fact that you're exploiting your feminist friends for your own financial gains. This is why I'm asking anyone who still thinks she's the best thing since sliced bread, stop and think about what you're doing before you donate to her. I don't think she's once ever talked about real issues involving women's rights, like segregation in Saudi Arabia, and the fact that in some countries women are still forced to marry their rapist, or even killed because they got raped. But no, she attacks Lego and video games, something that someone who really cared about human rights would not give two fucks about. Yeah, that one was pretty good. Um, oh gosh, I gotta see more of his videos. You can look up um, I need a Sarkeesian on there. Oh fuck, in this with them. Mm. Ah, here's another good one. <clears throat> if there's 
one thing more annoying than your retardation and your constant disregard to actual real issues in the world is your need to constantly change which controller and which console you're using throughout the video. And this is to show that you are a gamer, <coughs> and you know things about gaming even though you have shown that you know nothing about gaming throughout this entire video. Or maybe it's to make sure you don't go pissing off any particular fanboys. And the fact that you have loads of consoles that are rather expensive in your possession makes us raise some more questions. <laughs> and that question is, why do you need thousands of dollars to do something that you can already afford? And it's not like you need any new videoing equipment either. Your camera seems fine and you were in a studio one part of the video. And the fact that you're selling this web series for money raises even more questions. This just shows you have no faith in what you're doing and you have no faith in the internet. The same internet you're begging for money on. It's obvious you're only doing this for the money, and it's obvious you're exploiting the same community you claim to be a part of. Oh my gosh, that guy's badass. Oh man. So anyway, that's more about Sarkeesian. Now let's continue on with her bigotry. An effort to get them suspended. They attempted to knock my website offline, hack into my email and other accounts. They collected, they attempted to collect and distribute my personal information, including my home address and phone number. Once again, oh, I'm such a victim, I'm a victim, I'm a victim. I mean, fuck, I mean, yeah, let's not even go with all the shit that happened to uh, Girl Writes What from Feminist, you know, where it was actually done to a woman just because she she was anti-feminism and all that, <clears throat> and just because Girl Writes What speaks up for men's rights, because, you know, we all see all day long about you know, women's rights, but, um, you know, um, but, you know, who, who gives a fuck about men's rights, right? And that, see, that's why feminism is not about equality. It's all about women as a focus. It's just more evidence of the all-consuming self, which women actually represent. There were images made, <clears throat> pornographic images made in my likeness being raped by video game characters and sent to me again and again. There was even a game made where players were invited to beat the bitch out, in which, upon clicking on the screen, an image of me would become increasingly battered and bruised. You get the point. We'll move on. Um, what's even more disturbing, if that's even possible, than this overt display of misogyny? Hey, wait, you're not rotting in prison with a fucking broken off fluorescent light tube in your ass, are you? You know, that's what happened to men in Abu Ghraib and all kind of other places, and, and even in American prisons. You know, I mean, <clears throat> you're you're losing credibility, Anita, because your your bigotry knows no bounds. You know what I'm saying? You are you are a predator beneath the doll face. Look at this. Look at all this fucking camouflage. Nature's craftiest trick, right there. Oh, trying to look so beautiful and appealing. Look at me. I'm Anita Sarkeesian. I have a vagina and I'm under threat. Oh my gosh. Come to my rescue. I'm the damsel in distress. Do something about it. Oh, condemn these evil men. Oh, protect my honor. Yes, man. Look at my face. Please help me. Please. Risk life and limb and your bank account and everything, everything to win my favor. Yes, I'll, I'll be the goddess that will reward and bestow blessings upon you because of your, because of your risks and all that, and it'll be great. Oh, and you'll, you'll feel like you have a need to exist. Oh, it's so great. Yes, please obey me. Obey me. Look, look at my face. This is a face you can trust. Yes, I won't betray you. I won't run off with $160,000 of your money. No, no, those are the lies portrayed against me by the misogynist. It was all the misogynist. Don't trust them. Don't trust anybody in the men's rights community. Especially don't trust those elite mig toes. Those are the most evil pieces of trash. They just want to rape and murder women. Even though we elite MGTO want to stay away from women, and we just want to live and let live, and we just want to <clears throat> ignore and snub women so that we men won't be victimized by women. So then if women want to snag their next victim, they'll have to look within their own gender, which is even greater, because then... The wolf pack will have to turn on itself, and there's no more sheeps to, 
you know, to, to, to gobble up. You know what I'm saying? You need to look into why domestic violence is much more prevalent amongst lesbian couples than it is amongst heterosexual or gay male couples. I mean, look at it. I mean, women are the aggressors. Do we even need to spend another half an hour to look into the statistics, you know, and the actual Department of Justice data? I mean, come on. I mean, <clears throat> you know, some guys in the uh, Facebook groups, uh, anti-feminism and, and all that, have been posting that video clip of uh, women abusing men in public and where this woman actually gets on there and says, men do more damage but women hit more often than men do. <clears throat> you know, I mean, like, I'm just going to, um, well, uh, who, who posted it? Um, I'm not going to go into that right now. No, it just take too much time to look that up. But let's continue on with uh, the gynocentric hate-mongering bigotry. An image of me would become increasingly battered and bruised. You get the point. We'll move on. Um, what's even more disturbing, if that's even possible, than this overt display of misogyny on a grand scale is that the perpetrators openly refer to this harassment campaign and their abuse as a game. They refer to their abuse as a game. So. In their mind, they concocted this grand fiction in which they're the heroic players of a massively multiplayer online game working together to take down an enemy. And Ma <laughs> Massively multiplayer online game. <clears throat> no, it looks like a fucking Flash animation on Newgrounds. And those things are pretty much always single player because of the limitations in the technology. I mean, you're a fucking manipulative bitch. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's it's like flash scripting that's like turned into like a game type of format in that it's interactive by nature. It's and, and it is online, but it's not a fucking massive multiplayer game. It's like literally a fucking flash script, a fucking shockwave file that that's embedded in a fucking web page. <clears throat> and on a server in which an individual person clicks and interacts with it in, in pretty much very primitive, simplistic form compared to actual computer and video games because of the limitations in the Adobe Flash scripting, um, of which you probably know like nothing about, Anita, you know, because, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, you're just an invader, you know, you're not a creator. And so anyway, um, she just fucking overhypes and exaggerates the shit. I mean, I'm not disputing that it's an online game, because it actually is, you know. Well, it's actually more specifically a Flash, Adobe Flash script, you know, that, that's interactive like a game is, and it is online, it's on the internet, <clears throat> but it's not massive, and it's not even multiplayer. I mean, I don't even know if they have that multiplayer capability yet in the Adobe Flash scripting technology like they do in the computer games where they coordinate networks and servers and use various protocols, TCP, IP, and, and all this other kind of stuff and link everybody together in some kind of interactive virtual reality format. You know, virtual, virtual reality is what they used to call this stuff back in the early 90s. You know, anything that used 3D polygons or had a first-person perspective or whatever... <clears throat> You know, once again, half-truths and all that. Because Anita Sarkeesian, you're just a, a fucking poop mouth bigot. And look at this. You can't even offer real facts, like, like on a significant basis. All you can do is fucking use your, your vaginal appeal. All you can do is, is you just use manipulation. I mean, you are the manipulative cunt. As a game. They refer to their abuse as a game. So... In their mind, they concocted this grand fiction in which they're the heroic players of a massively multiplayer online game working together to take down an enemy. And apparently they cast me in the role of the villain. And what was my big diabolical master plan? Well, the thing is, what they actually did is they made this game to take out their frustration so they didn't have to track you down and actually punch you in the face for real. You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, like... <clears throat> 
yeah, they have hostility for you, Anita Sarkeesian, but they've also chosen not to physically manifest it on your actual body. They just did it to a picture of you. I mean, like, fuck. I mean, look at how many times, you know, like the American people have, like, thrown darts at a picture of Osama bin Laden. Does that mean that all those Americans killed him? No. I mean, like, you know, like, or what about Saddam Hussein? Or what about Pol Pot or Hitler or whatever? You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's say hypothetically I throw pictures at, or if I throw pictures, let's say hypothetically I throw darts at a picture of Adolf Hitler representing my my opposition to Hitler or distrust or hatred or <clears throat> or whatever. Let's say that I throw darts at a picture of Adolf Hitler, okay? Does that mean that I actually killed him? Does that mean that I actually was violent at his physical person? No, it means that I have hostility toward him as a person in my mind and and believe that he is worthy of my hostility. You know what? You're fucking bitch, Sarkeesian. Let's just go on. And apparently they cast me in the role of the villain. And what was my big diabolical master plan? To make a series of videos on YouTube about women's representations in games. Oh, look at me. I had such a noble and innocent goal, but, but, but everybody hated it. And, and, and I'm just such a victim. I mean, oh, my only crime was trying to have representation for women. You're such a you're such a mani you're such a manipulator, Sarkeesian. You, you had other goals. You love to influence people to change laws to get things in to get biased in your favor against those whom you deem as you know unworthy of privilege or praise or respect or anything else. <clears throat> so if they think of their abuse as a fun game, then let's examine this. Oh, 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 it's abuse, huh? It's it's abuse. Re oh, oh, it's it's abuse. It's abu really. You you said that. Hey, wouldn't it be nice if like uh, the husband of Catherine Q. Becker could like press charges, and, and get the fucking gas chamber for you know Catherine Q. Becker who who um who drugged the man, her husband, and tied him up to a bed, restrained him, waited for him to wake up. And, and then cut off his penis with a 10-inch kitchen knife, unprovoked. And then, and then whenever the police arrived, because I believe she called the police, and whenever the police arrived, she didn't even bother making up a sexual assault defense or whatever. You know, she didn't even uh, claim that he sexually assaulted her or, or did anything. No, she just told the police, he deserved it. <clears throat> it just shows the attitude that women have that they expect to get away with anything. I mean... You know, they, 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 it's like they want to be fucking 10 feet tall and bulletproof. You know what I'm saying? And and why did Catherine Q. Becker do this to her husband? Oh, because he wanted a divorce. He wanted to go his own way in life and all that and just let her live her life without him in it and all that peacefully. He wanted a, a divorce, and she saw that as a threat. She saw that as a threat to, to her financial stability, which then again reveals that, you know, she expe expects him to be her slave, doesn't he? You know, he does all the work. She gets the benefit. <clears throat> it just goes to show. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, ho! Oh, oh! Hey, maybe we should file charges against Sharon Osbourne, you know, for her display of male hatred whenever she laughed on the television show called The Talk and laughed about that man that man getting his penis chopped off, you know, the whole Catherine Q. Becker incident. She laughed about it. Not only did she laugh about it, she said, you know, I don't know the circumstances or the details of the case. However, I do think it's rather fabulous. You know, and then was laughing about it. <clears throat> you know what?
Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go there. Yep, here we go. <clears throat> Man, woman, myth. I love that guy. He is amazing. He's very, very intelligent, very intuitive. I highly recommend people watch all of his videos. I am a very strong fan of his. Very, very supportive. <clears throat> I made a man cry. I even <laughs> kicked a guy in the groin once and he didn't cry. I got the cat. <laughs> now, I haven't actually seen the Chipper does, and I can't think of anything worse than sitting staring at some bloke's crotch for two hours. <laughs> Unless, of course, it belonged to Judge Pickles and it was in a liquidizer. But... <laughs> Women and men will frequently laugh at scenes of male castration or any damage to the male groin. Most comedy films, particularly Hollywood films, will have the obligatory shot of a man hitting the balls, or worse. Hi, little girl, what do you want for Christmas? There simply isn't any depiction of violence against female genitalia, ever. Sexual violence against men on screen is entertainment, but against women it's always serious and is said to promote misogyny and violence against women. What does sexual violence against men promote? Well, for some, it leads to TV fame. My next guest is a woman who's famous around the world for literally <coughs> taking the law in her own hands. It's my pleasure to welcome Lorena Bobbitt. Good welcome. This is your first appearance on British television, and uh, Millions of viewers join me and want to know the answer to one question. Cut any good dicks lately? <laughs> have you ever seen or heard of a man mutilating a vagina? And if you have, would you expect to see them laughing about it on a talk show? To me, one of the most astonishing uh, things is, uh, is that men do not get uptight over the fact that they will be laughed at. If I was to have, if I was to be found in the street, uh, tomorrow morning with my penis cut off down the road. I would be laughed at. I am so worthless because I'm a male that I would be laughed at. The media would make jokes about me and there'd be jokes. And men would be doing it too. Uh, men have no idea that um, there's some part of themselves, if you like, is missing. They don't, they simply don't consider it. According to the Orange County DA's office, Catherine <coughs> Hugh Becker is accused of cutting off her husband's penis with a knife taking his penis and throwing it into the garbage disposal. I mean, I don't know the circumstances. I don't know why he filed for divorce. I don't know what was going on between them. However... <laughs> I do think it's quite fabulous. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can imagine that thing whizzing around the disposal. It's like hysterical. Depending on why she cut it off, I mean, it does depend on the reasons why. Does it? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Chewing on an old bone. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Are you on the police? She did. Oh, that was nice. a total buzzkill mm -hmm. but it is a little bit like sexist like if somebody cut a woman's breast off no one would be sitting laughing like it's not that 
right to sit around laughing about it we think about it. It's different, though. It is different. One's floppy and <laughs> wild. <laughs> When men are hurt in any way, uh, their suffering isn't taken seriously. And so we will still laugh at Bobby jokes, which I think uh, shows us just how hated at a very deep level uh, are men. And um, there's no doubt in my mind that feminism has had a great deal to do with it. And when men wake up to how they have been demonized by the feminist movement, and they understand how this has been achieved, um, they will fight back. And that's what's happening now. Fucking A, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, but exactly. Exactly. Who are the players? Well, often when we talk about online harassment, we think of teenage boys in their parents' basements. And while I was attacked by some teenage boys, there, I was also attacked by thousands of grown men. And this isn't entirely surprising considering the average age of the male gamer in the U.S. is about 30. Oh, what's, what's that key word she said? What's that key word? Let's hear it. And this isn't entirely surprising considering the average age of the male gamer. Yeah. Here we go. So, if they think of their abuse as a fun game, then let's examine this. Oh, because that's all men like to do. Sarcasm emphasizes it. Men think abuse is a game. It's just supposed to be fun. But you notice women will do the same shit, and then their justification is, well, it's fun for men. Maybe men need to have it done back to them, and then, they'll think, and then they won't think it's so funny. Man. Even though a lot of times men don't even do it, you know? I mean, like, like it'll happen here and there, but like women act like it's systematic or systemic, and then they'll go out and systemically do it to men. You know, I mean, they fucking make their own excuses for their own behavior. Look at all the fucking shit that they do. I mean, they'll fucking kill a guy and say, "Well, I did it because he raped me," and then you find out she never even fucking met the guy. You know, or how about the woman that set her fucking apartment or her house on fire? You know, that's on the Violent Women Among Us uh, YouTube channel. And woman, like, fucking, what did she do? I think she set her house on fire with her kids inside and all that. And <laughs> and then <laughs> said that some guy, would, like, did it or some shit. I mean, fuck. I gotta show you that one. Um, oh, gosh. Y you know, I just gotta... Uh, You'd be shocked to find this shit out. You know what I'm saying? The shit that um that that women that that women do. I mean, like, come on, where was it at? Um. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, I think is this it? Clifton woman is arrested for allegedly setting her own apartment on fire with her kids still inside. 22-year-old Kayla Settle was placed in handcuffs today after she confessed to setting her... What, 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 what gender was that? Oh, the female gender did it. Oh, that's interesting. ...was placed in handcuffs today after she confessed to setting her Clifton apartment on fire last month. Court papers show that Settle originally told investigators... She was sexually assaulted and knocked unconscious by a masked man before the fire began. But authorities say she has since come clean, telling them that she was feeling suicidal the night of the fire. Settle says after smoking some pot, she went into her kid's room and set a piece of clothing on fire. She and her children were able to get out safely. She is now facing a number of charges, including arson, criminal mischief, and child abuse. A woman who admits to setting her apartment on fire with her kids inside is going behind bars for longer than expected. Good evening, everyone. We're coming to you live from Grand Junction in true high definition. There was emotional testimony today from both friends and families of the Mesa County mother, but it wasn't enough to keep her out of prison. It's our top story for you tonight. 22-year-old Kayla Settle was charged with arson and child abuse after setting her Clifton home on fire in November. This morning, Judge Valerie Robison sentenced Settle to five years in the Department of Corrections. The sentence was harsher than some expected, with several people in the courtroom visibly surprised by the ruling. According to prosecutors, Settle lit the, 
the fire and returned to bed with her kids. She only evacuated the apartment after one of her children reawakened her. Her defense attorney argued that it was mental instability that caused Settle to light the fire. She told authorities that she was feeling suicidal that night. Besides the five years in prison, Settle was sentenced to mandatory probation of three years, and State Farm Insurance must be compensated for $51,000 in damage. Yep, there you go. There, uh, there you go, right there. So, <clears throat> um, she decides to kill herself. Well, and then she decides to take her children with her, you know, and and then, um, and then, uh, you know, kill her children and blame it on a man, a rapist, and all that. And now you see the the female judge actually convicted this woman and all that, but you see it doesn't change the consensus. It doesn't change society's perspective uh, and all that. I mean, you know, this woman knew to play the fucking rape card and all this other shit. I mean, she she tried and well, it, it usually succeeds, but then she fucking got caught. And but you know, we still don't suspect women. As being false rape accusers, do we know? Every time we hear rape, we automatically believe it, don't we? This just goes into the male and female nature. And how, you know, things happen. And the difference between male and female. And all that. Women know how to exploit society. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, you know, and I mean... Now, a violent women among us, that YouTube user, he he specializes in in showing actual you know proof that contradicts the official narrative about women, you know, being full of sugar and spice and everything nice. He just shows you video clips about you know news articles and courtroom proceedings in which women commit these heinously horrible crimes that men stereotypically get labeled for doing. You know, and uh, and he's using real logic. Now let's go back on to Anita Sarkeesian. Who are the players? Well, often when we talk about online harassment, we think of teenage boys in their parents' basements. And while I was attacked by some teenage boys... I was attacked by boys! I was attacked! Feel sorry for me! That's what she's saying. There, I was also attacked by thousands of grown men. Oh, you hear that? Must be true, because she said it. I was attacked by thousands of grown men. Man, I'm a victim. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Please. Please give me your money. Dig deep in those pockets. Dig deep in those pockets. I need your checkbook. Your checkbook. Well, your credit card. Yes, your credit card also. Your credit card, please. Um, I need it. Your credit card. Your credit card. Give it to me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me your credit card. Give me. Give me your credit card. Give me. Give me your sympathy. I need your sympathy. I thrive upon it. I'm a fucking energy vampire. I need. I need your sympathy. I need to feel like I have a reason to exist. Look at my face. Look. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me, please. Look. Look. I'm a woman. I'm, look, look at this, I'm showing my chest, look, look, look into my chest, look into my chest, oh, but I'm covering up just enough tits for plausible deniability so you won't see me for what I really am, which is a manipulative whore. Exactly. And this isn't entirely surprising considering the average age of a male gamer in the U.S. is about 30. Where is this game played? Well, the perpetrators turn the entire internet into a battlefield. So <laughs> oh, the entire internet was set ablaze with hatred for me. Oh, I'm such a victim. Me. 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 I'm a victim. Believe me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to understand you, Anita. You know, I. I <laughs> they came after everything and anything that I possibly had ever had online. Oh, 
it just hate me. every fiber of my being. This evil man. This evil. Okay, use logic here. Like, why would anybody do that to her? Okay, let's say hypothetically, if it's true, why would anybody do? Trigger alert! Victim blaming! No, it's called causality, bitch. Things don't happen for no reason, you dumb fuck. Oh, that's right. You're not expected to have a brain. You got a vagina. You know? So anyway... Why, why, you know, why did these men do that? They just had nothing better to do, right? They were just, well, they're just, these men had inherent hatred in their hearts because they're men. It's that Y chromosome. It's